welcome to the global icon. It's uh, the Hatters and it's Yuri talking with a, a translator today in the show. Nice to have you on the show. Thank you very much. <laughs> so where are you guys right now? We're in Moscow. Right, what's the weather like? Погода? Погода Moscow kind of weather. Uh, we're here um, before a charity event that's going to start in a second. Okay, so let's talk about that first. What kind of event is that? Tell us about this for the global audience. These are our friends, the Charity Foundation, and their 15th birthday today. We're lucky to be invited and celebrate with them. So who is the money going to that gets collected? It's a children's charity. Very good. Then let's talk about the band The Hatters, because uh, I've actually heard of your name. Uh, I don't know if everyone around the world has. Just tell us about the craziness of The, the Hatters. How did it all start, Yuri? Я слышала название, не знаю, все ли в мире знают это слово. Расскажите про безумие того, как вы придумали коллектив. Ох, все получилось очень просто. Несколько безумных людей собрались вместе, и все сложилось так, как получилось. A few crazy people got together, and it is what it is. You started off as a, a, a folk punk band. Now you're an international proper rock band. How was the journey? How was the difference between do the folk punk and the now rock pop rock вы начали как фолк панк а теперь стали настоящим рок коллективом ага ну фолком мы заманили людей нашу ловушку а теперь прокачиваем их роком потому что мы выросли на металле folk was a way to hook people and invite them in and now we're offering them pure rock because we grew up with metal music Oh, metal music. That uh, is a kind of music that I never listened to. That was too loud for me. So what was your favorite metal band? Pantera, Metallica, Megadeth, ACDC. Sepultura. Yes, yes. I know a few of their songs, but that was, I'm like all pop, the electro guy, I, you know, it was too, but I imagine it's quite, it's quite cool to play that kind of music. Yes. So, um, you different style of music, which I very interesting, no guitar, but you use different kinds of instruments. Tell us why. Uh, да, я понимаю, да. Uh, ну, так как мы музыканты с профессиональным образованием, играть на других инструментах гораздо интереснее. Гитаре мы прибегаем, когда нам уже просто не хватает методов прокачать музыку. Since we're professionally trained musicians, we try and use different instruments because we go back to guitar when we have no other ways and methods to rock the audience. <laughs> So what was the most weirdest instrument you used on a song? A sterile desk. Um, a washing, uh, I don't even know how, how to say it, you know? Um, a washing board, washing board. Yes. Yeah, sorry. <clears throat> Why? Uh, because my wife uh, knew me to create the musical instrument. Because <laughs> my wife can't play a music instrument. Yes. Oh God! So he, did she just like go? Brr, brr, brr? Yes, it's right. Okay, good. Um, so you are representing Russia at the Eurovision Song Contest, which is no that, that is a big. What was that like? That must have been like a huge step in your career. Вы представляете Россию на Евровидении? Как это было? Наверное, это был большой шаг в вашей карьере. Ну, корректно говорить, что Little Big представляли Россию. It's more correct to say that the band Little Big has represented Мы them. We were just helping. And in the end, because of the COVID pandemic, we couldn't go. So we never lost. 
мы как бы победили, не проиграв и не участвуя. Так что so, so we liked it. Maybe next time when the pandemic is over, would you would you do it again? Maybe as yourselves, as the Hatters then? Нет, мы мы ушли непобежденными, как бы нам достаточно. Uh, we left the stage undefeated, so it's enough for for us now. Okay, so what are the plans uh, coming up for the next couple of weeks and months? What's it like in in Russia at the moment? Can you still play on stage, or is it all closed down to the pandemic? Oh. Все закрыто, но у нас, слава богу, выходит альбом. Down, like у нас есть несколько клипов впереди. И все. That's it. So what's the new song gonna be about? Новая песня о чем? Uh, этот альбом мы написали более добрым, в отличие от предыдущих, потому что времена сейчас совсем не веселые. Previous ones because the times currently are not that much fun. So you want to make people smile and have a good feeling. Но мы всегда заставляли людей улыбаться, потому что мы зависели за рок-н-ролл и за обезбашенность. Но в этот раз мы предлагаем людям посидеть дома и наслаждаться самим собой. <laughs> как бы это странно ни звучало. We've been always trying to make people smile because we're about fun and rock and the crazy. Uh, but this time around, we're offering people to just stay home and enjoy their time to get uh, on their own for themselves. Yes. <laughs> By myself. <laughs> By yourself. So how how is the Russian music scene different from like the English, uh, the the uh, American, the European side? Is is it is it the same at the end of the day? Нет, она совсем другая. It's very different. Потому что во всем мире рок, рэп – это все культура, а у нас до сих пор это все субкультуры. Рэп. That's not your kind of music. It's not, not our kind of music. No. Uh, but, no rap людей, yeah, mostly rap. So we are doing the Global Icon, which is going to be a, a worldwide show. Um, help together from all parts of the world. What are your thoughts of uh, the new age of like getting people together, what the Global Icon is doing? Global Icon, we do a show for the whole world. What are your thoughts on how the world in a new form will look like in a new era? Oh. The break in the connection as well. Maybe you would repeat your question, if you don't mind. Okay, sorry. Yes, uh, so what are your thoughts on a new age, a unique show like the Global Icon, where we have people who can play instruments, we have people who can sing, we have people who can write, we have people who can produce. So we're trying to get everyone together from all parts of the music industry to build one big thing. Yeah. Я думаю, что они должны нас позвать э, везде. Мы можем сочинять, мы можем подыгрывать, мы We're можем продюсировать. Uh, play, мы засиделись. Возьмите нас к себе. So what is the, the thing you do best, Yuri? Is it writing? Is it performing? Is it the technical side, the production? What, is, what, what do you think you can do the best? Скорее всего, конкретно группа The Hatters, все, что делает, да, это для того, чтобы давать классный концерт. Uh, the best thing The Hatters can do is perform great shows. Но вопрос был, okay. что они... uh, да, да. Yeah, and me personally, I also perform the best. Okay. So how do you think that the corona, the COVID pandemic has changed how music is produced. Do you think we will see more bands because the bands had more time to produce? 
Но тут еще проблема в том, что каждый второй человек теперь, как может быть СМИ, также и артистом, потому что есть такие возможности. Well, the world is changing now. Every every other person can be a music band and a media. И поэтому в то время, когда закрыты площадки, очень легко выглядеть хорошим артистом, потому что не можешь доказать это дело. So while the venues are shut down, it's very easy to look uh, as a great artist because you cannot uh, show it in, in person for the audience. Да, поэтому ждем, когда откроются границы и площадки, и будем снова биться за место под софитами на сцене. So we're waiting until the venues are open and we have to prove ourselves uh, the, the great band that we are. Great. Looking forward to having that. I'm looking forward to seeing you on stage someday. Let's talk about monetization, money, the money side of the of the business, like with Spotify and digital streaming services. What's it like that uh, composers uh, get paid enough? Uh, do you think they should get more than the producers or the artists themselves? Or are, are, are the artists and the producers, at the end of the day, those people who make you know the show and make the music bigger? Монетизация сейчас стриминг и Spotify uh -huh. uh, владельцы фонограмм зарабатывают, uh, uh, композиторы зарабатывают да, достаточно да. или нужно это менять? Uh, ну, это опять тот же вопрос предыдущий. Мы в основном всегда были группой uh, живых выступлений, и у нас в стриминге никогда не было самой большой доли дохода. We've always been a live band, so streaming was never a huge uh, source of revenue for us. Не потому, что мы плохая группа, а потому, что мы на это никогда не делали ставки и всегда все силы бросали на живые выступления. Not because we're a bad band, but just because we haven't paid enough attention to that side of the business. Но сейчас времена заставляют нас больше думать о именно лайтовом звуке, чтобы это можно было слушать даже где-то фоном. But currently we have to be thinking about About the lighter side of the sound, so it's more comfortable to listen to, not in a live environment, but in your earphones. <laughs> What do you think has to change apart from the pandemic disappearing? But how 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 should the music uh, business survive if you're getting really low on on Spotify? You, you do earn the most money from performing live, which is at the moment not possible. But for young bands, maybe in Russia, how can you make a living in these days? There's no way. Nothing has to change, but it has to go back to the way it was. Все было хорошо, отдайте. Has to be great. Make it come back. Yeah, it's the same here in Europe. I mean, I'm in Germany right now, and up till today, the clubs could open, but more clubs are shutting down now because of our fourth wave of Corona. It's really sad to see the festivals we thought they would happen this year, and they didn't. So that's quite a quite a sad feeling. What, what when I when do you think it's going to start again? Is it going to be two or three years? Is it never going to open up? Problem is also in the fact that there are not only musicians, but also all the sectors of this business. All the platforms will bankrupt, and even when everything opens up, the group will not be able to perform properly at concerts because there will not be platforms. The saddest part about it uh, is not only the musicians are suffering, but also other side of the business are going down, the venues are, are going bankrupt, and that when the pandemic is over, then there will be no venues to play, bands won't be able to tour. I think that's uh, similar all around the world. Does the Russian government uh, fund uh, clubs that do not have any money or Or, or bands or technical equipment uh, sellers. No, правительство старается поддерживать государственные учреждения, такие как театры, концертные площадки, коллективы государственные, но индустрия же не на них держится. Well, the state government is trying to support um, governmentally supported venues, theaters, uh, collectives, but unfortunately, that's not what the industry is all about here. 
So fingers crossed that something's going to happen in the next 12, 24 months and you can go back on stage and do your crazy stuff. Но мы ребята простые, мы можем в кабаках по двое играть на перед 20 людьми нам достаточно будет. We are a simple band, simple folks. Uh, it's enough for us to be two people standing in front of 20 people in some kind of dive bar and play live music. So it's going to be enough. What was the worst concert you ever played where you like thought I'm not going onto that stage? It was never like this. I always wanted to go back. Нас просто очень много, и даже если что-то прошло плохо, в гримерке мы говорим, вот это ты отжег, конечно. We are such a huge band, so many people on stage that even if somebody messed up, we just tell them you rocked out there. All right, let's ask the question a different way. What was, what was the biggest concert you did where you really felt, whoa? Ну, это был самый наш последний стадионный концерт. Мы играли перед девятью тысячами людей, которые пришли только на нас. The last uh, play we show was actually a stadium tour show, 9,000 people that came out just to see us. Мы были прямо на подъеме, и все закрылось. We were right at the peak of our career, and then everything shut down. That's sad, but it, it'll come back. It'll come back. I mean, nine thousand people is, is amazing. Where, where was that? In, in Russia, or, or was that in Europe? Да, это был в Москве концерт. It was played in Moscow. Ну, мы не так сильно переживаем, как самые самые начинающие музыканты, потому что мы хотя бы успели схватить что-то, за что держимся. А те, кто начинали, им и как бы и ворваться-то некуда. Well, we we are not. Uh, the way it is for us, it's, it's not as terrible as it is for emerging artists, somebody who's just coming up, because we managed to have some fun and gain something from it. But the younger generation that are just now beginning, they have nothing to even hold on to, unfortunately. No, from rap. Uh, <laughs> if we're not talking about the rap side. <laughs> Yes, I get that. So, um, would you like to expand maybe into the big wide world? I mean, bring Russian music to the States, to England, to India, to China? Of course we do. Right before the pandemic, we were supposed to tour Europe and the USA. И дело даже не в том, что мы хотим что-то доказать. It's not even about that we want us something to prove. Мы, наверное, хотим вас проверить. We just wanted to test you guys. Okay, yeah. Well, I can't speak one word of Russian, so I would just probably, you know, watch you guys, listen to the music. I would have no idea what you were talking about or singing about. But I, I saw videos of you guys, and it, it, I would love to see a show. Really love to go live, yes. Нам в этом плане будет проще общаться. It's going to be easier to communicate this way. Потому что все русские люди выросли на зар... на западной музыке. Because all the Russian people have grown up uh, listening to the Western music. И мы плохо знаем английский язык. So we don't speak English as well. Поэтому все песни мы сами себе придумывали, о чем вы поете. So we had to come up with our own idea of what all the English language songs were about. И именно это придется делать вам с нами. And that's what's, what's your turn going to be to do with our music. I think music is, is, is an international language at the end of the day. It's about the, the beats and the sounds. The uh, and I mean, you could probably say really bad things on stage to me in Russian and smile, and I wouldn't <laughs> know the difference. No. No, no. We're not like that. We're not that people. Well, maybe one day we'll see you guys at the Global Icon, and uh, you know we can perform together and have a good, a good time. I mean, it's it's a great thing we're doing right now, getting everyone together. The world. We've had people from Tel Aviv, from India, from the States, from New Zealand, or from Russia. The Hatters and Yuri, thank you very much for talking to us today on the Global Icon, and I wish you all the best. Скажи, что мы обязательно увидимся. We're gonna see you for sure. Главное вакцинироваться. We're looking forward to it. Just get vaccinated, please. <laughs> I, I had my, my third one yesterday. Third? Booster shot. Yes, yes. I, have, I have one. Booster, booster shot, yeah. Very hard.
лучше ты скажи. Yeah. Было больно? <laughs> Очень болит до сих пор, уже неделю рука I just got my shot, and uh, for a week now my, my arm has been hurting so bad. Yes. But I had uh, Pfizer, and did you have Sputnik? Sputnik or something? Конечно. Sputnik, of course. Sputnik. <laughs> okay. Из Little Vic полетел в Хорватию делать э, Pfizer или Moderna. But Ilya from the little little big, he went to Croatia to get a Pfizer or some other kind of vaccine. Oh. И мы тоже. At the end of the day, it's all the same. Get vaccinated, stay safe, and let's all put us together and see the stage. Вот это довольно странный момент, когда всю планету захватила одна и та же беда. Люди не смогли объединиться и, наоборот, помириться благодаря этой беде, и снова опять разделились. Вот это раздражает. It's quite weird that this um, unpleasantry has happened to the entire world, and we as the global world couldn't find a way to be together, get together, and make it better, and that it even made us um, kind of get apart even more. That's what's sad about it, I find. That's the positive side of the coronavirus. <laughs> Юрий, thank you very much. Thanks to you as well. And, um, yeah, have a great, uh, nice session now for the charity event and uh, raise some money and uh, we'll see you guys soon. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Thank you for having thank you. us. All the best. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>